Welcome to Seize the Mains by Raj Malhotra's IS Academy. I'm Surbhi Sardana taking this daily answer writing initiative with you from Monday to Saturday at 9 p.m. This initiative is running in coordination with our website. All the content, all the questions and answers that we discuss on Seize the Mains, they get uploaded on our website. This is the website rajisacademy.com. Here we have this mains answer writing section. If you click on it, all the questions with their answers will appear. And not only this, there is a comment section under each and every answer. You can share your answers with us, uh, comment there, share the pictures of your answers with us. And our team evaluates them and responds back with their feedback, telling you where you need to improve, what are the data points you need to add, how much have you scored on an, uh, on an answer, on a particular answer, and how can you bo boost your score. So uh, basically, it's like, uh, you know, a direct a personal guidance that you receive for your every answer on the website. The topic for today is cyber security. All our topics of Seize the Mains, they are strictly from current affairs and uh, let's see what is the question for today. The threat of cyber attacks looms high on India. Analyze the statement in the wake of the recent cyber attacks in the country. What are the recent steps that have been taken to enhance cyber security? Answer in 250 words. So, uh, look at the first part of this question. The first, uh, first one is the direct statement that the uh, threat of cyber attacks looms high on India. Analyze the statement in the wake of recent cyber attacks in the country. Here, you know, we'll mention about the recent cyber attacks. We'll also talk about what are the reasons or what are the issues associated with cyber security in the country that will form a part of your analyze part of the question that the threat of cyber security entails uh, or uh, it uh, looms high on India. So, the second part would be about what are the recent steps that have been taken to enhance cyber security. Again, that is a very, uh, you know, direct part. And uh, the question is asking you just the recent steps. So, probably uh, in the past few years, whatever have been the steps taken, if a new policy has come up, if a new scheme has been launched by the government, if a new organization has been set up, definitely talk about that. And this is going to be the steps part is going to be a very important part of your answer because cyber security is something that all countries are grappling with. And India is launching a lot of initiatives when it comes to cyber security. Earlier, it would happen that a solution that frame would go on for 10 years, would serve you for 10 years or maybe more than that. But now with the advent of technologies, with you know the increasing uh, speed of internet, especially with the in upcoming of internet of things, artificial intelligence and all that stuff, threats to cyber security are increasing and they are changing. The sophistication is the, you know, uh, the sophistication is where they are improving upon. So, cyber security, it has to be, you know, very fast, very spontaneous. It has to be very perfect uh, for any nation. And let's see how India is dealing with cyber security and what are the issues associated with it. But we will keep the content of our answer strictly with demands to the question. The threat of cyber security looms high on India. Analyze this statement in the wake of recent cyber attacks in the country. So let's analyze this statement in the wake of recent cyber attacks. Let's talk about how India is, uh, you know, India is facing this threat of cyber security. What are the reasons there? So yes, in the introduction, uh, we'll talk generally about that why threats to cyber security they are rising. With, uh, with the lines between physical and digital realms blurring rapidly, Every critical infrastructure from transportation, power and banking systems has become extremely vulnerable to cyber attacks from hostile state and non-state actors. State actors could be your countries, uh, you know, your enemy nations which want data with regards to your missiles, defense or any critical infrastructure and non-state actors could be your terrorist organizations or, uh, you know, lone terrorist groups. So, data show that over 75% of Indian organizations have faced ransomware attack and that is huge with each breach co costing an average of uh, rupees uh, 35 crore of damage. You know, a ransomware is basically when your data is hacked then you have to pay some money to get that to retrieve that data back. So, they say that over 75% of Indian organizations they have faced ransomware attacks and the cost for each of them has been around rupees 35 crore. So, that is huge burden, huge loss that India is already facing or it has faced and you know we need to tackle it here itself.
And uh, here we will be talking about the recent cases that the question mentions. The first one is the uh, recent uh, case of ransomware attack on servers of AIMS, All India Institute of Medical Sciences, where ne nearly 40 million health records were compromised. Soon afterwards, uh, there was this very strong attack on by this ransomware gang called Black Cat and they attacked the Solar Industries Limited. Basically, Solar Industries Limited, they are manufacturers of ammunition and explosives uh, that Indian and uh, that India receives. So, uh, that Ministry of Defense receives. So, all the data with regards to explosive and ammunition that was taken by them, uh, not all the data, but at least 2 terabyte of data was taken with regards to, you know, uh, this particular uh, solar industries limited, this particular company. So, yes, that is the, uh, that is the recent uh, ransomware attack that has come. Now, what are the issues associated with it? Why ransom, why your cyber attacks are uh, you know are a cause of concern for India only and uh, what are the issues which are different from the other countries. So, yes, though the challenges of cyber security are more or less the same for most countries and uh, they are more or less the same because the way cyber attacks are conducted, they are changing every day, not even every day, they are changing every hour the way cyber attacks are you know planned and conducted all over the globe. So, yes, uh, so the challenges remain more or less the same for all the countries, but specifically for India, why uh, cyber security is a major issue or what are the challenges? First of all, uh, most organizations, they lack the tools to identify cyber attacks. Hence, uh, it makes the prevention tough. It is very hard to identify that there is a cyber attack. For example, uh, the data of AIMS. Why would somebody want uh, AIMS data or why would even somebody think that health related records would be hacked by some organization. So, whenever there is a problem in the servers or in the computer systems, generally the operators feel or think that it is you know a network error or a problem in the system itself, but later it gets clear that it is a cyber attack, most mostly a ransomware attack. So, then they have to pay them to get their data back, to retrieve their data. So, most organizations basically they lack the tools, they lack the tools to identify and hence the prevention is also tough. Secondly, there is an acute scarcity of cyber security professionals. So, India is projected to have a total workforce of around 3 lakh people in the sector while uh, uh, you know, while in contrast, United States of America, they will have around 1.2 million people uh, working for cyber security that includes your ethical hackers, that include uh, includes all the cyber security personnel that are working in this field. Then most of our organizations are in the private sector, most of our data lies in the private sector and uh, participation participation of private sector in ensuring cyber security in the country that remains very low. In fact, even if a bill is you know passed in the parliament or it is brought up in the parliament, it receives criticism not just in India but worldwide. So, uh, India's internet base is expanding with over um, 900 internet, 900 million internet uh, users anticipated by 2025. So, yes, uh, the internet base is expanding, yes this is good for digital India, that is good for uh, penetration of your digital services for the country, but on the other hand we all know that we have uh, you know we have seen rising cases of cyber attacks because even though the penetration is increasing, the awareness with regards to cyber attacks is not increasing at par with it. And even if you try to make people aware, the first thing, the first emotion that comes to uh, their hearts is the, you know, the threat or the fear that is associated with new technology. So, that is something that government uh, is dealing with on a parallel basis. With the development of digital technology, cyber crimes are becoming more sophisticated as well. The way these uh, attacks are carried out that is changing very fast. So, yes, that's, uh, these are the basic issues that were associated with India. Now, what are the steps? That is your second part of the question. What are the steps that uh, have been taken and these are the recent steps. So, you do not have to mention about the IT Act or the establish establishment of CERT in now switch your answers to writing about what initiatives have been taken by certain that is your computer emergency response team. Do not write that you know it has been established because now it is uh, you know more than 5 years old that this organization has been established to deal with uh, cyber attacks. So, when recent initiatives have been asked talk about what certain uh, certain has been doing. So, first of all in 2022 Indian computer emergency response team CERT in 
which is India's Cyber Security Agency, introduced a set of guidelines for organizations to comply with when connected to the digital realm. So these uh, guidelines, they basically included mandatory obligation to report cyber attack incidents within hours of identifying them. So reporting is there and designating a point person with adequate domain knowledge to interact with certain. The second one is your India's draft digital personal protection, uh, digital data protection bill. Uh, that pr uh, it proposes a penalty of rupees 500 crore uh, in case of data breaches. Then the th uh, thirdly, you also see that you know all your um, missile systems. Now your recent missile systems, advanced uh, missile systems, they operate on GPS systems. The recent Agni 5 missile that was tested, it operates on GPS as well as Navic. But what happens is when your missile is directed or reaching its target with the help of, you know, information or data that is receiving from satellites, satellites of GPS system or Navic system, then these signals can be jammed. And uh, that jamming of signals that is also a form of cyber attack. And uh, you know, uh, hacking of these ammunitions that can take place because these are these employ a lot of guidance. All these weapons nowadays they they employ a lot of guidance. They do not work like weapons of the previous century. And wherever guidance is involved, a sort of communication is involved between the ground servers and the uh, you know weapon that is trying to reach its desired location. And that communication that can be hacked and that can be tampered with also. So recently, uh, you know, uh, some um, some new organizations, some new agencies in Ministry of Defense were created and Defense Cyber Agency is one of them. It will have offensive and defensive capabilities both, both offensive and uh, defensive at attacks will be launched. The other one was Defense Space Agency and Defense Special Operations Agency and Defense Cyber Agency is of very much importance here when it comes to your answers. Then your all Indian states, they have their own uh, cyber command and control centers as of now. Then you have a cyber uh, and information security division, which operates under the areas of Ministry of Home Affairs, which deal with, uh, deals with matters related to cyber security, cyber crime, uh, national information security policy and guidelines and implementation of these guidelines and NAT grid etc. So these are the recent initiatives. Obviously, you can go back to, you know, your IT Act and all other acts that, you know, and the previous cyber security strategy also that can also be included. But these are just the recent initiatives. Add to your notes and try to write an answer on these lines. Uh, the conclusion part here it is that just focus on the thing that sophistication is increasing when it comes to cyber attacks, especially with the introduction of 5G and the arrival of quantum computing. Quantum computing or quantum cryptography, it will break all the previous systems, how they were operating or it will establish high realms of data security that will be very hard to break or very hard to decipher. So the potency of malicious software and avenues for digital security breaches, this would only increase with the, you know, sophistication of technology. So private organizations, this is the Geneva Convention, basically it was for private organizations. This is basically a way forward that we are starting here. So in the Digital Geneva Convention, uh, there were over 30 global companies which have signed a declaration to protect users and customers from cyber breaches. So that uh, that uh, convention or something like that, something on those lines can be done in India as well. Finally, just conclude your answer that with cyber, uh, cyber threats evolving over time, we need a cyber security policy, a wholesome or holistic cyber security policy is required in place. So with cyber threats capable of undermining our critical infrastructure, industry and security, a comprehensive cyber security policy is the need of our and underline this as your keywords there. And uh, that's your the that's the entire answer for today. Uh, this justifies the question that has been asked. Go through this entire content at rajayasacademy.com. The link to rajayasacademy.com is given in the description. Visit our website, click on mains answer writing section and look for question 200 for all the content that we have discussed here on this video lecture today. I'll see you with another discussion on Monday at 9pm. Till then, just stay tuned to the channel and keep working hard and share your answers with us.